This is so relaxing. I love this. big event of the morning is to go down to the water and wash the dishes. It's taken us about an hour and a half to get ready for it. It's going to take us about another 45 minutes to get out the door. <sighs> it's literally like 10 steps away. <laughs> so that's, a, that's the excitement. That's the morning excitement is the dishwashing. Even if we didn't have a baby, it would still take us that long, I think. No, because if we didn't have a baby, I would just go do it myself. Oh. I would just go out quietly while you guys stayed in here and played. The three of you. Of course. I don't do dishes at the tent. I do it at home. No. I'm like a kid at the tent. Yeah. I need to be taken care of. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four kids that need to be taken care of now. <laughs> Who need their dishes washed. And it's probably, what, pushing 11 o'clock? Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's about as far as we're gonna get this morning is down to the shore with a bucket full of nasty dishes. Then we're going for a hike. Yeah. Oh no! No! Our sponge! <laughs> Now that's a good house husband. I prefer camp husband. change of plan we were supposed to go out for a hike but the water is just too beautiful right now and so clear and so perfect for canoeing so we're gonna take a little paddle all right so we're gonna get ready to go we gotta go before before what before the tide goes down. we gotta go before um, the tide goes down got our green boots on Okay, we made it down to the water and it only took us like 10 minutes. So, we're doing pretty good, right? I think it took more than 10 minutes. Doing the dishes takes about two and a half hours to get down here, but go paddling, about 10 minutes. And look, it's so beautiful out and there's like fog back there. You can see there's fog and it's just so dreamy and so pretty. Right, Georgie? Yeah, are we excited? Yeah. All right, we'll take you along with us.
I've always wanted to be a passenger in the canoe. This is so much more fun for me. Look, my <laughs> it's like in those movies, you know, where the man is, uh, you know, paddling his woman into the middle of the lake, right? This is so relaxing. I love this. I don't think I can ever paddle again, but I can be a passenger. Do you love this? I we have a bit, bit of a headwind, guys. Oh. Don't you like when I'm a passenger? Uh, not necessarily, but. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, so relaxing and nice. And look at the background, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So October on Hudson Bay. I know, this is like unheard of. We are gonna paddle about three kilometers. Me? Oui? Um, they are going to paddle about three kilometers south, north, sorry. We're gonna paddle about uh, three kilometers north and see if Jerry is at his camp. I doubt it, but we'll see. It's a fun little day activity. And it's not like it's drizzling a little bit. It's what? Drizzling a little bit. Ooh, you just splashed the camera. Sorry. Drizzling a little bit, but really pretty out. Yeah, it's not gonna be great if it starts really I feel like it's starting to rain. I think I brought a garbage bag though if you really need to cover your camera. Okay. Lovely. A garbage bag? Yeah. I've never seen Hudson Bay look quite so beautiful before. It's really dreary and misty and mysterious and kind of wet and slippery looking and but like gray and silver at the same time. It's really amazing. I guess it I guess you need a summer heat wave in October for this kind of effect to happen. Might never happen again. Might never happen again. Let's hope not. Oh no, he's moving. His cheek is soaked. His cheek is soaked? Yeah. Yay! So fun. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> Joanna, are you grumpy? Mm, no. What's the matter? Very foggy. I'm just You're what? I'm just a little worried. If it was Why? just us, I wouldn't be worried, but I don't know. Like, like babies have a lower temperature, and like once he's awake, he's not gonna just like lay under the blanket. Okay, so you wanna go back? I don't know, and then I feel bad because you don't wanna go back. I see a person. A person? Yeah, see, let's just go see. Okay. Can we just go a little further? Yeah. The last time Joanna will ever step foot in a canoe again. <laughs> That's the canoe filling up with water. Filling up with water. Okay, I'm going to the baby. You then? Yeah. Our beautiful, dreamy canoe trip turned into a nightmare. Would you say? We're definitely riding on the line now between comfort and misery. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to keep a baby dry. I don't know if he's dry in there. I can't tell. He's sleeping. He's sleeping for like another, what, like 15 minutes? 15 minutes. No, 10 minutes? Yeah, it was, you said, it was 15 minutes about 20 minutes ago. Oh, my going to be on the list. But look at how that Mackinac wool is just cooling water up, man. Oh, I know, but I'm worried about the under. I know. You're not as worried. I am worried. I'm paddling my ass off. Paddle harder! It is pouring! It's getting worse and worse. I can't handle it. Mm. I mean, I sound like a diva, and normally I don't really see what I care about the rain. I just have to care for a baby right now. Like, you know, right? Yeah, look at this. You're dead. <gasps> if you're warm, right, bud? I'm just cold at first. Okay, I'm going to go in. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Well, I feel like I'm in a, like a, a Berenstein Bears story. The girls used to have this book of the Berenstein Bears, and Papa Bear was always taking the family out on these ridiculous excursions that always ended up being like a disaster. And for a few years, I felt like that. And today, while we were in the canoe and it was pouring rain and getting worse and worse, I really felt like I was in my distance. Papa Bear.
Behind you. What's going on back there? Nico, where are you? Nighty night, Nico. Nighty night. 